Our verse today is John chapter 6 verse 48. I am the bread of life. This verse comes within the discourse on the bread of life which covers John chapter 6 22 to 58. This session in John is often understood as John's treatment of the Last Supper recorded in the Synoptic Gospels. If you read Matthew 26, 26 to 28, Mark 14, 22 to 24, and Luke 22, 17 to 20. After feeding the 5,000, the people were looking for Jesus and he told them not to seek food that will not last, but food that will endure to eternal life. The people then challenged him to give them a sign because Moses gave them bread from heaven in the wilderness. Jesus then told them that it was not Moses who gave them the manna in the desert, but his father gives the true bread from heaven. The people then asked him to give them that bread always. Jesus then told them that he is the bread come down from heaven, and whoever eats of him will never hunger, and whoever drinks of his blood will never thirst. Our verse repeats verse 35, I am the bread of life, ego e mi ho altos tesoes. Jesus contrasts the bread with the manna that Moses gave in the desert. The manna was physical food to satisfy their physical hunger and needs. Hence, they ate the manna and were hungry again and again for it. But the true bread from heaven the bread of life is spiritual and will satisfy the spiritual quest for God. The bread from heaven is a person, Jesus himself. He is the one that reveals God to us and quenches our hunger and thirst for God. This bread is also the bread of life, how our thoughts test Zoe's. Zoe, life, here refers not only to physical life, but supernatural life, the opposite of eternal destruction. This is the kind of life that Jesus comes to give to us, to save us from eternal death and damnation. Jesus did not say to them that the bread is like his body, but that it is his body. The belief in the Eucharist is one of those doctrines that make the Catholic Church unique and different from other churches. Catholics believe that the bread and wine become the true body and blood of Jesus Christ through the prayers of the priest. That is the greatest miracle Jesus performs daily on the altar in Catholic churches all over the world. I always believed in the true presence of Jesus in the Eucharist, but my faith grew stronger after a personal experience. I was in the house when I got a call from a parishioner that they wanted to bring a young girl to me for prayers. She told the family things she was doing in the spiritual realm. It is a long story. Anyway, they brought this girl to the house chapel. My spirit asked me to open the tabernacle where the Holy Eucharist was reserved. As soon as I did that, this girl started running out of the chapel screaming. Those that brought her heard her and I said to her, look at the blessed sacrament. She refused. That she couldn't. When I interviewed her later, she confessed to the power in the Eucharist. If only we know the power in the Eucharist and call on Jesus during the elevation of the sacred body and blood or when Jesus is exposed to us. Many of us are often distracted at that time of the Mass or bend down our heads. That is the time to look up to Jesus and speak to him directly. Bring your problems, your issues to him. Talk to him. Prayer made at that time is powerful. Lord, we believe that you are the bread of life. Enlighten the faith of those who do not yet believe and strengthen the faith of those who have doubts. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a lovely day.